hey guys welcome or welcome back to epicartdesigns.com if you are new here make sure that you hit that subscribe button and like this video and if you've been here before and you've been waiting on us to post welcome back um i just want to say i see all y'all comments thank you so much for the kind words i also see you guys as questions i'm going to try to answer those answer those to the best of my ability um on today's video though i'm going to be showing you guys how you can resize your template now i'm going to be showing you guys two ways because it is um you can resize your template easier if you are under the pro version but also i know it is some free users out there so we're going to also do it the free way because why not however before i get um started with you know resizing the template i want to talk more about the uh, paper size so this template is 11 by 17 inches um and this is just the print ready size However, when you do fold this booklet, it becomes 8.5 by 11. Um, so this will be the large size booklets. And then when you are doing a smaller booklet, you want to make sure that your canvas size will be set to 8.5 by 11 inches. But make sure that you have it on landscape so that you can see the, kind of the side view. And when you fold that, it now becomes 5.5 um, by 8.5. And this is all in inches. So when we do our templates, we just make sure that we set our canvas to like the print ready size and not the size when folded because it, it can be a little hard to print when you do it like that so yeah and i hope that wasn't too confusing for you guys if you have any questions about this just comment them down below and i'll get back to it as soon as possible okay so now let's get back to resizing this template and we're going to use be using a pro version of canva so now you want to open your design or your template you want to head to the top left corner and you're going to see resize and magic switch. Now you will see this crown here and that just means that this is a pro option. Um, so if you will, if you click it and you don't have pro, they will take you to probably purchase the pro version. Um, so as you can see, this template is 11 by 17, but just click resize and magic switch. And I have it preset right here to my new size because we are making this a smaller book that I forgot to mention. But I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch. So you're going to head down to custom size. And now you're going to type the size in the in basically the width and height box. Make sure that you set the units to inches. Um, and then you I put 11 for my width and 8.5 inches for my height. Um, like I said, it's kind of switch when you are doing landscape. Um, so yeah, I set that to landscape as well. And we're just going to continue. So when you are doing designs and changing sizes, please, please, please make sure that you make copies of your original design because you just don't want to lose nothing or just, you know, mess up the original. Always make copies. So we're just going to open this into another tab and voila, we have our resized templates. Now, it is a few things we have to do. Of course, if you're changing the size of anything, you're going to have to do some small adjustments. So that's what we are going to do. Um, I'm just going to... Let y'all scroll through and watch me adjust this. Okay, so now that you have seen me make the little small adjustments due to resizing, we're going to now turn on these guides because we just need to make sure it's in the middle. So I'm just going to head to file at the top left corner. I'm going to scroll down to settings and then I'm going to go to show rulers and guides. Now you're just going to go ahead and drag your guide and you want to set it to 5.5. This is just going to make sure everything is in the middle and everything is aligned. And there you have it. You now have a resized template. You can print this. This size you can print on your regular printer at home because it's just standard letter size. Okay, so now for all my free users of Canva, I'm going to show you how you can resize this template. It takes a little bit more work, but we're going to do it. So you're going to open up a canvas size that's set to your new size. So I'm going to set this to 11 by 8.5 again this size is in landscape but when you get a paper a sheet of paper to print you're going to need 8.5 by 11 so now as we did on the other one we're going to turn on our guides 
by going to settings and we're going to go to show rulers and guides drag that to 5.5 this is going to make sure that it is in the middle now head over to your template and you just want to i'm just going to go to layers um so some of the layers may be locked so you just want to make sure no layers is locked like you see that that's locked so we're going to go ahead and unlock that and now i'm just checking and making sure and now we're going to highlight over everything and once everything is highlighted you're going to right click and you're going to select copy now head over to your newly sized canvas and we're just going to paste all that on there so as you can see it's a little bit more work now we're going to group those layers all and also change your canvas size to the kind of the color of the template which is pink and the color should pop right up because it's set it's the document colors basically now all you got to do is adjust this your group make sure your group is going to be way easier so now you're just going to set your guide or your um group to kind of fit this canvas now it's not going to 100 percent fit but it should fit like at least the top section like the width and all we got to do is just adjust the height so now i'm going to ungroup these layers and now make your small tweaks to where you just adjusting the height as you can see the bottom looks very gappy in like space so i'm just fixing those as well i'm just gonna let this time lapse play of me kind of adjusting these layers <laughs> Okay, so now that I am done adjusting, I'm just going to repeat this for all my, all my pages. This is a four page booklet, so I'm just going to have to do this one more time. But if you have an eight page booklet, be prepared to do this multiple times. Um, yeah, so as you can see, it's really different from the pro and the free, but um, the pro is definitely more easier, but free, you're just going to have to do a little bit more work. Not too much of, not it's not too difficult, but it's definitely, um, a hassle when you're trying to copy and paste and everything so as you can see i'm doing the same thing that i did for the per pro version um i'm just making minor adjustments to the template make sure that when you are copying and pasting all the elements over to the resize template that you select everything because you don't want nothing to be cut out and like i said before you're going to see me making some minor adjustments And there you have it guys you now have your resized template using the free version of canva at the beginning of the video we did show the pro so if you need to rewind go ahead and rewind where you can see that um if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel and also head over to our instagram we have content on there as well if you would like to purchase this template Click the link in the description and it'll take you to our website where you get this template. Um, yeah, that's all for today's video. Really hope you enjoy and I will see you on the next one.